Good morning, everybody. We are here on, let's see, it is Tuesday. It's 8 a.m. It's a beautiful morning. Um, it's about 65 degrees. It's going to warm up to a balmy 82. It looks like it's going to be a lovely sunny day. We are headed to Tools this morning. Sorry for my terrible French. Um, and we will be touring some gardens and a chateau and having lunch and drinking wine and other various fun activities so we're gearing up to go it's the party car <laughs> hi chad hi. hi alana hi hi jack howdy good morning everybody good morning and what a beautiful morning it is we've made it to twos <laughs> Through. Just a super cool. We are in a French parking deck. Very exciting. And you can see, this is so brilliant. They have little red lights where there is no free space. But you see over there, there's a free space. It's a green light. Brilliant. Oh my god, that smells so good. Imagine long time ago, imagine the arch, the yeah, triumph arch, you know. But those came from Egypt or they were made no, no, no. here? No, 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 made uh, you know, in France at the end of the Ici, il y a le Chateau des Dames. So, we are, wow. we are visiting a Renaissance chateau from the 16th century. But imagine on this place, there is nothing today. Or just a tower, a nice tower, you know, on the right. But imagine we have the drawbridge. And the medieval castle. So, at the beginning of 16th century, on 1514, there is a couple named Thomas Boyer and Catherine Brissonnet. They destroyed the medieval castle. So you can imagine like four or five towers right now. Wow. Yeah. And a wall. So that's why you saw a moat. A moat, mo sorry. century pigeons they're very old very amazing he said it's henry so, one down 2499 to go right right yeah jack's laughing at me the way it's built, it looks like it's in the side of a mountain. We're going to taste some wine. It's lovely. Are you ready to taste wine? Let's do this. Always. Oh, Sula. Yeah. 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 Very like dark and red, and when you age, it 
lost his color. It's lost actually his tannin. So it's why you have sediment in a bottle when uh, a red wine age. Um, and because he lost his tannin, he will lose his color. So it would be more like a orange or like a brick color. It's completely normal. Um, so this one is young. I would like to know also if it will be a dry white or sweet white. To know that, I turn delicately the wine like this around the glass. And you can see it will stay on a glass. So it's a bit like a syrup. The syrup stay like this. So more it will stay on your glass, more sweet it will be. So when it's going down, the time it will take to going down will tell you if it's like a bit sweet or maybe some try. So if you take all the time, when it's very, very slow to go down, it means it's very sweet. And I put your we go down, it'll be like maybe semi try. So I'm used to, so I can see when I do that, mm. and when it's going down, I can see it's a semi try. It should be not too sweet. So the second step. So you see, just to look at the one, we know it's a young white, semi dry, it should be semi dry. Now we smell, it's why we did all this uh, taste. If now we do the smell. There's two smells. The first one, we don't want the wine too much. We just smell like this. And try to find what you can, what, which flavor you find. You know, the flavor by person, I never hesitate to say what you think. Never. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, because you know, it's depending on the flower you have in your garden, you, the, I don't know, the fruit, you love it every day. I don't like all this. Of course, like, you will, more, it will be more, um, there's some flavor in some more than one. Fair, yeah, definitely. It's meant to fair. Some people tell me apricot, they as well, definitely. So it's quite fruity. Mm -hmm. Well, now we do the second nose because it's when. We move the wine like this, so we break the molecule of the wine and we give you more flavor. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very stronger. And the change of it, is it like, for me, it's a bit more like on the flower, more flowers and fruity now. Huh? <laughs> like a white flower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we do this, <laughs> we want to taste, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so you can taste. Just remember, you have plenty of taste buns, buns, no, buns, buns, buns. buns. <laughs> buns uh, in your mouth. So it's why when you see a sorority, when you're tasting wine, look like a bit as uh, a washing their teeth or something like this. That's this trash up. They do that because they want to have the wine all over their mouth to taste all the flavor. So if it's like a sweetness or a sweetness or all, actually you can we just did. Good night. Ooh, some more Dan has the goods. Here 
here we are. The minute I get some food, it's time for food. We're gonna eat. We love food. <laughs> We've just eaten an amazing lunch and delicious fruit for dessert. It was so good, so good. And we are now at this amazing castle. I don't know exactly where we are. Uh, Vasa, our tour guide, said it, and I can't remember, but holy cow, look at this. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! There you go. Make them burn, make them burn! <laughs> Chapel is gothic style, so before Renaissance. This looks yeah. like me and Da Vinci have the same taste in a wedding or funeral flowers. So the smell actually is rather intoxicating. It's wonderful. Wonderful. And our tour guide is telling us that the body is not buried here, but it's the zoo. This is the body. They do have teeth, but they don't have anything to compare it to. But they think that Da Vinci was buried here. How is it though? a chord is what I was wondering, or if it's a piano oh. forte, or if it's a piano, I don't know. Here. Whoa. 
What do two very food motivated skaters talk about in the middle of going down a large bio carrot staircase in a chateau? Ice cream. Of course. We're discussing our ice cream plans. Doris, this is for you. Skate for ice cream. Hey, Kelsey, look, this one portion is so ADA. So ADA. Oh, and this part, too. You know, only a, only a mild incline. So this portion is where they would bring all of the carriages and the horses up to get to the top of the castle because obviously horses can't climb stairs. Um, so Kelsey, check it out. You could totally just cruise right on up here. Might be a little bit of a tough hill. You would need a friendly biped. I don't know if you can see, but off in the distance, there is a uh, small 16th century Da Vinci lawnmower. Robotic. Amazing. He was so ahead of his time. This is your uh, rollout spot for when you start going too far. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. Yes. Is it backwards or forward? <laughs> <laughs> Even though Southerners are used to heat, we're also very good at air conditioning. So that's where the Southerners are. But really and truly, it's not so bad. It's hot, but it's dry. And we are at our last chateau for the day. Duck. Saying ducks. This is not a game of duck, duck, goose. I'm, I'm giving you good instructions for your safety. Oh, well, look, stairs to nowhere. Yes. It's smell is maybe a painting from Melzi. Melzi is one of the students of Daichi. You know, when he came in uh, Clarice, he came with Francesco Melzi and Salai. Two painting students, you know. This is the real Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. See, the tour guide said, <laughs> tour guide. this is Vincent. It's got He's an official very, look. look. Very yeah. official. This is it's, the true Mona Lisa. It's real. Okay, wow. Like in Toscana. For the sake of Vincent's job, for those of you who do not understand sarcasm, we're joking. That's not real. It's a copy. It's a fake car. <laughs> <laughs> Skaters. Yeah. Ice cream kind of wiggles in there, right? I agree. 